Hello, welcome to Cloud Vibes. I am Claudia and in today's video I would like to talk about long distance driving and I would like to give you some tips how to get prepared for a long ride or what to do while you are driving a lot. I love driving and I think I can say I am a well experienced long distance driver. I remember my first long journey was from Budapest to Prague but that was nothing compared to my next one which was from Florida State to Long Island in New York. It's about uh, 2,200 kilometers plus because I stopped in some places on the way and I did that two times, so back and forth. And recently I drove from Budapest to Zurich, which was also over 1,000 kilometers. My first tip is to plan ahead. Don't just rely 100% on the GPS because it can be mistaken too. So more or less be familiar which roads or routes you need to take so you have an idea where which direction you need to go to. Also look at the weather conditions uh, to the area you are going because maybe there is snow so you have to get prepared with uh, snow tires and snow chain so make sure you inform yourself about the weather conditions the area you are going at. For safety reasons, stay in touch with someone throughout your journey so they know where you are at all the time. Is before you leave, check your car mechanically thoroughly. For example, check all the tires, check the oil levels, the lights, that everything is working. For example, my brother checked my car before I left and it turned out that we had to change the spark plugs. It's also good to have some tools in your car in case of any breakdown. For example, have a tow rope, um, jump lead, a car jack and even if you don't know how to use them at least you have it in the car and someone gonna come and help you anyways. It's very important sleep the night before make sure you get a good night's sleep and get enough sleep before your journey and don't consume alcohol the night before. Dress for comfort wear comfortable clothes and shoes and I also recommend for you to dress layered and if it's summer make sure you put sun protection on your arms to avoid sunburn. If you are driving at night these yellow lens glasses can be very helpful. I left this night 3 a.m. and this really helped me to see the road much brighter at night. On this road trip I am drinking two times coffee. The first one I had it around 6 a.m. With, together with my protein shake and milk and the coffee and I'm gonna drink now the second one and it's still hot in this bottle but I don't recommend you to drink too much coffee on your road trip because it's also dehydrating you and the second reason that it makes you pee more. Take breaks every three or four hours, get out of the car, stretch your legs and take some fresh air. It's gonna give you a boost until your next stop. I have already drove 400 kilometers so it's time to stretch and have my longer break and also eat my breakfast as well. Try 
try to time your breaks, your bathroom breaks and eating breaks when you need to uh, put gas in your car because you can save a lot of time with it. I am at the gas station now and my hack is to start to look for uh, gas stations when my uh, tank is still one quarter full because who knows how long it's gonna take until you find uh, a gas station. It's already happened with me that I almost ran out of gas in Florida. I was crossing the Everglades National Park and I didn't tank and it was no gas stations around so I barely made it to the city. Also I have 5 liter uh, gas in the car in case of emergency. And now I'm gonna have my breakfast, the overnight porridge, which I prepared. It has berries, nuts, dried fruit, with coconut milk, chia seeds, so it's a very fiber-rich breakfast. If I am on a road trip, I really like to drink from this um, sucking bottle. I don't know how it's called. It's much easier to open than to twist the top of a big water bottle. I prepared a big bottle of water with lemon juice, mint and ginger. So it's my hydrating, tasty water for the road. Instead of using all the time air condition in the car, let some fresh air because that's gonna keep you more alert. Get prepared with something to listen for your long, long drive. Uh, download some good mood music on your phone which makes you alert and make you feeling like to party or listen podcast or even you can listen an audiobook. Having my lunch break now, I prepared the wrap with avocado, bell pepper, tomato, uh, lentil sprout, red cabbage, um, arugula, spinach leaves, and I spread some hummus uh, underneath. And having a meal prep, it's a very essential, I think, because first you save money, and the second you save time as well. Plus, I am eating plant-based whole foods, so I don't think so I would find anything in the gas stations to eat. I prepared two wraps and I also have a burger with sweet potato and bean patty. I Two of those as well and I still have an apple and a protein bar. I think I prepared too, mu too much food, but uh, you can never know what's happening on the road, so it's better to be on the safe side. Bon appetit! Try to avoid very sugary snacks because it spikes up your blood sugar immediately and then it's dropping down very fast. Instead, try to snack on some healthy food uh, which has a lot of fibers and protein which uh, slowly rising your blood sugar and maintains it for a longer time. Waiting in the car to cross the borders because of COVID even in European Union, in Schengen areas, now there is border control. So I hate it because I'm wasting a lot of hours and you are still sitting in the car. You cannot get out, you cannot go to the bathroom and the time is just running and it's consuming your, your alertness. But this is what's happening what can we do and i just wanted to show you what i am snacking uh, between my my big meal times it's uh, a cookies with oats and berries and the other one it's a nut bar also oats and all kind of nuts like almond cashew pistachio walnut and hazelnuts and also dates and dried uh, apricots and dried 
plum as well so it's a healthy snack for the road to check the engine oil once in a while like every four or five kilometers especially with this car because it's 20 years old it's good let's go Unfortunately, I had to put back my sexy yellow lens glasses because it's raining cats and dogs and this glass is not only good at night but also when it's pouring or it's foggy and you can't see shit and it actually helps you to to see something so for me it's a number one lifesaver literally driving alone it's very important to be well rested and know your limits because your mistakes can be fatal and there is no one else next to you who can swap driving it with you so try to keep yourself entertained on the way and and be honest with yourself if you're really feeling tired just stop and rest and break your trip up that was it i hope i could help you with my own hacks stay calm don't speed drive safe and have a wonderful journey thank you so much bye